I've read the psychiatric reports. I've read the letters. I've read the pre pleading memos. I've read the grand jury minutes. I sat in on a hearing and heard the witnesses. I've read the probation report. Um, I recognize and realize, Ms. Genshaw, that, that you had a hard life from your childhood and into your adolescence. Uh, and despite that, you achieved a lot. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you became a registered nurse at some point, uh, which is you know, truly amazing that you, you went that far with all those things that happened to you, uh, right from the death of your father on through the rest of your life. Um, but because of this one day, you really, I mean, you've set yourself back and you've set your family back. And by brandishing that weapon, you cross the line that all, all parents and all decent people recognize. Um, because again, Ms. Kajanisha is, is not somebody who's been involved in the criminal justice system before. And clearly, she lost control for these hours. So accordingly, on count two, and the D violent felony, attempted burglary in the second degree, Ms. Genishaw, your sentence is a determinate sentence of two years, followed by two years of post-release supervision. With regard to count 17, the menacing of a police officer, your sentence is a determinate sentence of two years, followed by two years of post-release supervision. On the count 10, criminal obstruction of breathing, your sentence is an amus, on that amus demeanor is a definite sentence of one year. I direct that the determinate sentences on count two and count 17 run concurrent to each other, and that they also run concurrent to count 10, which should be absorbed as a matter of law. And I direct that the post supervision on count two and on count 17 uh, run concurrent as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. Please. Love you.